Hello everybody and welcome back to Starfield. We finished the tutorial last time and we landed on New Atlantis, which I don't think is the actual name of the planet, but this is where we are, so that's what I'm going to call it. Uh, we do have to go and talk to Constellation, but before we do that, I do have a lot of stuff I need to offload. Uh, so let's see where we can sell stuff. Ooh, also, we don't need this suit anymore. Because we have- we are on a place with air, so let's put on something else. Not that. What else have we got? A leather jumpsuit. An extractor jumpsuit. Let's go with this one. I like that one. Oh, I'm still wearing this. There we go. Look at me. We are free. Ugh. I need your help. Where did you tell me to go? Need to offload? Trade authorities always buy. Kiosk right here for you. Ooh! I've got lots to sell. Alright, hang on. Vasco, give me all of the stuff I gave you. Constellation will be waiting for you. Am I currently in possession? You I, I require all the items. Frontier? Oh, that's stuff on the ship. Cool. Alright, but Vasco, I need all the stuff. Yes, take all. Alright. It would be advisable to leave some things behind. I will. I'll leave them behind with money. Alright, what have we got to sell? Desk assistant. Vendor credits. Okay, so we could get like 5,000 credits. Okay, board game, blender base, blue stylus, cube, deck of cards, succulent, 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 succulents! So many succulents. I think I may have gotten rid of some crafting stuff, which oopsie, but I don't even know how to do that yet. So, let's see. What else can we sell? Oh no, my resources are right here. We won't- we won't sell any of that. Um, we'll hold on to our notes. Let's see, what about these? Space trucker cap, I'm not gonna wear that. Hazmat suits, I mean, they look cool, but, uh, I'm not gonna wear them. I wanna keep that, I'll keep that. Uh, I'll keep that. We wanna be fashionable, after all. Helmets. Mm-hmm. Nah. Pirate raiding pack. Is that better than this? No, it's not. Or maybe it was. I don't care. Oh, I just want money right now. Look how much money we got. <laughs> we still have way too much stuff on our person. It's probably all these weapons. Yep, the rip shank. We'll keep one of those. Mm, we don't need these rescue axes. Modified Maelstrom. The cutter stays with us. We'll keep one of those. Um, boosted Maelstrom. I don't remember what I was using before. Not these. That's pretty good. Modified Maelstrom. Oh yeah, we were using that, weren't we? Well, let's get rid of this. A modified Grendel. We'll hold on to these. We'll get rid of the Maelstroms because we have too many of them. We'll get rid of these Grendels too. You will get less than the item is worth. Oh, they're out of money. Uh, I- I- there's no more money. How do I get more money? Give me more money. Oh, um, maybe we can find another one. Let me drop off some stuff at the ship. I'm just gonna... Drop these right here the modified grendel yeah we'll hold on to the rest of these who knows when we might need them ignore the grendels on the floor <laughs> it's fine let's start exploring this planet i already really like the trees up there that's really pretty all right what's going on over here hello everybody i'm new here Oh. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see them when they get here. Uh-oh. Oh. oh uh, well, of, of course. Uh, that's sure possible. <laughs> uh, we'll, ju uh, we'll just... 
Helena Chambers, ID SSCOM 1327HCHA. Jesus. I was the station administrator. I'll need to report to Mast ASAP for a full debrief. My treatment thus far has been entirely unacceptable. Oh, you're a Any Karen. The authority you had was forfeit the moment House Varun Zealots breached the station's perimeter and you failed to initiate proper evacuation. Tell him! Tell him! Thank you for your service. We'll find you a new position commensurate with your experience. Got him! And Destroyed. Bunch. But as for Aquila City, well, the air purifiers here in New Atlantis are state of the art. Nice. Ugh, Aquila City? Oh, don't even get me started on those simpletons. Nobody wants to hear from you. Alright, I'm gonna leave this conversation. They're just yapping. Whoa, it's a little robot! That sucks. You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Ah, dang it. I don't want to get scanned. Okay. No bounty. You're clear. Enjoy your visit. Really? I don't have a bounty? I thought for sure that uh, uh, actually have a good day, sir. What have we got going on over here? Okay, we need to go that way. Part of me wants to wander off and do other stuff. How deep is this water? Vasco, get in! It's really cool! Yeah! I love going swimming with my friends. I gotta clean up if I'm gonna meet up with these people. I'm covered in pirate's blood. Oh, we have to take the train! This place is so cool! All right, let's hurry and see what we can do around here. Style among the stars, universe of leisure, trident luxury lines, ooh. This is New Atlantis Transit, yeah? or the NAT. It provides free transportation throughout the city. Nice. We can take it directly to the Mast District. Is that where we have to go? Can I go other places first? Probably not. Project Indigo and all that, or Protocol Indigo. Okay, we want to go to the Mast District. Whee! The Lodge is here in the city. We shouldn't keep Constellation waiting. Well, maybe I want to. Oh, look at that! All of the kelp and stuff! That's really pretty. A universe of leisure. Another one of those. What's the word for that again? Ugh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know. Good job, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Oblivion dialogue. Ooh. It's the water is quite aesthetically pleasing. Or so Barrett has told me. It's okay New to have- Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Oh. You can have your own opinions, you know. You don't have to listen to Barrett all the time. Oh, the mass district. Hello? President Abayil isn't the same as her predecessors. Not an adversarial you sees a thing of the past. Huh. Does Radcliffe even need to be involved? President Abayo wants to foster relations, not fracture them. Keep up. You're supposed to be okay. Let's yeah, let's there, huh? space. It must be cool. I never get to go to space. Oh, uh, that sucks to be you. I have a whole ship. I'm a god king. More water. This is a shortcut. I've never been here before, but I know that. Ooh. Come on, Vasco. I know where I'm going. This place is beautiful. The clouds and the trees, it's lovely. As I climb and stomp on all of it. Another day, another shift. You're lucky I don't have my laser on me right now. I think I lost Vosco. Oh! Here we are. Oh! Hello? Vosco? Vosco? They will be waiting for us inside. Cool, but where are you? Oh, there you are. 
Jeez, dude, how did you throw your voice like that? All right, we'll use our watch. State of the art. Nice. Ooh. Captain, everyone will be in the library, just inside. If y Barrett were here, he'd probably tell you that you're part of something bigger now. And he hopes you'll make this place your home. Oh, I get a free room? It's completely ridiculous. Can I take anything here? Ooh, a bowl. I know that the trading place doesn't have any more money, but when they do, I have more stuff to sell. Like this. This is mine now. Hello? What's up? Oh, <laughs> tried to jump. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Yes, we do. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? He's dead. Let's see, pirates attacked. Doesn't matter, I have the artifact. Pirates attacked. I see. Vasco, verify. Rude. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Hey! Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Oh, shut up. But that didn't happen. They're here with the artifact. I am. Thank you, Mateo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? Yeah, me. What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? I did. It was bright lights and music. Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. <laughs> Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? What? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. Yoink. Oh, a skill bonus. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? Ultimate mystery? Hey, gentlemen, can we please take a rest? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. What theory? We know the artifacts react to each other. Oh. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have, the artifact. If you could place it on the table here. Okay. That's it. Just like we were told. To imagine. We thought there were only two of them at first. Hmm. Oh, oh. Oh my god. That's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. Whoa. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy go. Oh, we will have a heart attack. It's turning into like a sphere. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it means there's a set. Yeah. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Captain. Oh? You're on, Walter. Well. If he had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? No. Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend? I want to be included. <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? It's just, if it gets me away from bounty hunters. <laughs> Let's see, this is all much, I need to clear my head. How much do you know about the artifacts? Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal. Another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building. Well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. Exciting. You want me in Constellation? What does that mean? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Oh. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond yeah. that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment. Just like the rest of us. All right, I'm in. It's not like I have anything else to do. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. Oh, I've got a new and buddy. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. What did you give me? 
In addition to credit, Ooh. why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out <gasps> in the field anyway. A jetpack? Just mind your head. I've got a jetpack! I got an achievement! 8,000 credits? Hell yeah! That's mine now. And that. And that. And that. You guys should know I'm a bit of a kleptomaniac. Well, I suppose that station in orbit is more than paid for itself. Yeah, I want to talk to you. Hi, Noelle. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. No, it was cool. It's a lot overwhelming now that I think about it. That is very true. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing an artifact to us. Let's see. Um, how long have you been working on all of this? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Oh, gotcha. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. Oh. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. He would be so excited. What do you think it was, the vision? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. But? What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. But Barrett saw something too. Whatever I saw or heard, it wasn't coming from me. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. Especially when me and it's Barrett okay. are the only ones who've now seen that it. Now this has happened to both you and Barrett, yeah. we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. Maybe. We're all in this together now, right? I guess I am. You guys gave me money, so... I was wondering about the other types of exploration work. Yes, what else can I do? Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on. And everything we learn about them is valuable. Heck yeah. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna. Or a planet with a specific quality. Like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh, nice. Good to know. You seem to know a lot about these artifacts. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's... That's flattering. <laughs> really, we're making this up as we go. That's how it works, doesn't Until it? Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know. And that means a lot of work ahead of us. Exciting, though. Let me know how I can help you learn more. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition. I'm looking at everything. Gotcha. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Exactly. Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. Gotcha. Organic stuff, got it. There's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Oh, so is Walter like the Bruce Wayne, the Bruce Wayne of this uh, Justice League? Stay safe, okay? I will, thank you. Uh, what else can I steal? Walter won't mind, right? <laughs> I'll take that. That's pretty cool. What else can I- Wait, Walter, I want to talk hey, to you. Have you been up You're to not Walter. I haven't even been up there. Ooh, Why there's books. Oh, oh, hey, Walter. Hang on, let me, uh, let me, uh, get comfortable. Sarah's the best possible person to be running constellation at a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. True. Talk to me. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. Yeah, asshole. If that was an apology, you can do better. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. There we go. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Oh. It's not fair of me to take it out on you, especially True. since it would seem he made the right call this time. He did. So I'm not wanted let's or anything. Start over, shall we? 
Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft times grumpy old man. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Thank you. Glad to be here. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, <gasps> pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. How cool. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large scale projects. If you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. Heck yeah. I'm a fan of self reliance. So I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Oh, I absolutely will. Yeah, what kind of company do you run? The most well known for ship manufacturing. Gotcha. Expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. I know where to go. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels Ugh. that covet them. The bastards. Bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards. And those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Oh no. Do you think the vision I had means anything? Because we know Barrett had it too, but you seem kind of mad at him right now. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. Got you thinking. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Uh, I don't think so. I have a history of other things, but not like that. I haven't hit my head recently, if that's what you're asking. Not exactly, no. But I suppose it doesn't matter. You saw something. Barrett saw something. That's an unlikely coincidence. It is indeed, a coinky dink. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Indeed. Frankly? This is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Glad you're having a good time. What's your role in Constellation, sir? Other than being the sugar daddy, I guess. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Sugar daddy, I was right. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure they have the resources they need. Nice. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. We are. We? <laughs> this isn't where I'd expect to find a CEO. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Emptiness syndrome? Proud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis. Leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. Ah. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance. And so now, I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Oh, nice. Well, nice talking to you. You were not what I expected. Goodbye. So you don't mind if I take your stuff? Oh, hello. I never expected to end up involved in something like this. I did not. Are you doing okay? No. I'm not sure anyone really asked you. No. I you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. I appreciate it. You matter too. Oh. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I like you. I'm Mateo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. You're nice. I like you. Uh, these artifacts all came out of caves? The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. Oh. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. What if they were hidden Can for a reason? Imagine? Potentially the greatest discovery in human history, collecting dust. Honestly, that, that, what if they were hidden for a reason, man? That might, oh, that's, that's a scary thought. But we're still going to collect them. I'm not going to lie. I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. True, Both that is you tough. you Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Maybe it'll happen Did again if we grab like another one. I was trying to tell you something. 
I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. Uh, if it meant something I didn't understand it, I know it's important I can feel it. All I know is I've never experienced anything like it. Probably. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. The prophecy. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Gotcha. What brought you to Constellation? Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. Oh, you found Shrek. So I tried to steal it back. He tried in to steal process, Shrek. I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. Oh. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common. And I was invited to join Constellation. It's good you didn't get arrested then. Thank you. Ooh. I'll take those. I'll take that. You don't mind, right? Knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. Shh. I'm reading. Hard times. Book the first. Sewing. Chapter one. The one thing needful. Now what I want is facts. Teach these boys and girls nothing but facts. Facts alone. Oh, I've read this one before. Next book. A Christmas Carol. Marley's Ghost. Stave one. Marley was dead to begin with. There's no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it. And Scrooge's name was good upon change for anything he chose to put his hand to. Old Marley was as dead as a doornail. Charles Dickens' 1843 novella, considered his most famous work, chronicles the redemption of the miserly Ebenezer Scrooge as he is visited by four ghosts, who force him to analyze his life and the decisions he has made. Nicholas Nickleby. There once lived in a sequestered part of the county of Devonshire one Mr. Godfrey Nickleby. A worthy gentleman who, taking it into his head rather late in life that he must get married, and not being young enough or rich enough to aspire the hand of a lady of fortune, had wedded an old flame out of mere attachment, who in turn had taken him for the same reason. Thus two people who cannot afford to play cards for money sometimes sit down to a quiet game for love. Charles Dickens' third novel is the tale of a young man who struggles to support his family after his father inadvertently plunges them all into poverty, then dies! Oh! The Pickleby Papers, another Charles Dickens. The first ray of light which illumin illumines the gloom and converts into dazzling brilliancy that obscurity which the earlier history of the public career of the immoral Pickwick would appear to be involved is derived from the pursual of the following entry in the transactions of the Pickwick Club, which the editor of these papers feels the highest pleasure in laying before his readers as a proof of the careful attention indefatig inde indefatigable assiduity and nice discrimination with which his search among the multifarious documents confided to him has been conducted. Charles Dickens' first book about a man who establishes a society whose goal is to travel and research human life became a phenomenon that established the author as one of the best of his day. You guys really like Charles Dickens. Alright, we should probably get some rest. Hey, Vasco. at your service, Captain. How you doing? Can I talk to you? I cannot- I cannot- Oh! Now that you are a member of Constellation, I am at your service. No additional protocols necessary. Nice! Also, given the likelihood that you will be out in unsettled space, it might be beneficial to go over exploration outpost development. In case you ever need to build a base for field research. That would probably be best. Outpost development? What do you mean? The exploration of an unknown planet can be a major undertaking. By building an outpost, you will be able to construct scanning equipment, resource extractors, and defenses. Ooh. It is even possible to set up multiple outposts capable of manufacturing, allowing you to build advanced equipment. Nice. What kind of advanced structures? The scan booster is the most obvious, as it will enable you to detect landmarks and other points of interest from further away. Ooh. Beyond that, extractors 
will allow you to collect raw materials of various types, while fabricators enable the manufacturing. Hell A yeah. particularly prosperous outpost may even warrant the construction of cargo links, allowing you to share resources between other outposts you have built. Sounds useful. The blueprints you need to construct an outpost should already be on your watch. It will automatically connect to any available materials for construction in your ship's cargo. Heck yeah. Sadder question, do you miss Barrett? My primary function has been to support and protect Barrett during his travels. I am currently unable to do so. That is as capable as I can be of missing anyone. I believe Barrett would find your question amusing. <laughs> All right. Protecting Barrett must have been quite a challenge. Barrett has thus far survived every mission on which we have embarked. It is therefore evident that my efforts have been successful. Good. I suspect that Barrett would disagree with how necessary my intervention has been in any given situation. I would like you on my crew, but I think I want to explore a little bit more. But how long have you been a part of Constellation before I leave? I arrived along with many material goods purchased by the group's previous chair, Malcolm Livingstone. Livingstone? Despite several significant system replacements and upgrades, I have been online for 43 years. Dang. Well. Always good to talk to you. Can I go to bed or... So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Mm. What do you know about the artifacts? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. True. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. It's what we do. How well known is Constellation? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. True. I am here. I don't believe in Do I exist? Everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Yeah. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Oh, gotcha. I already know what Constellation is, so... Yeah, I, I think I'm ready. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. Oh! That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. That's how Maybe it's hard to find them. Know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Oh! Other people have artifacts? We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. True, but especially if there's many of them. going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. We're the puzzle master. The UC Vanguard, what is that? It sounds like a college. A volunteer force that helps oh. defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. Oh. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Gotcha. I'm excited. First mission. The same way when I started, too. There's an electricity in the air when you know you're about to uncover something but it's not just that i want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself oh and for you to learn more about us i'm going to be sticking with you for this we'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry gotcha you're locked as my follower uh sure why not We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. All right. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. 
So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. No, only bounty hunters. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Good, I've been wanting to look in some buildings. You're available for my crew and an active companion, heck yeah. You're still satisfied with your choice to join Constellation, Noel? No, we gotta go. Absolutely, Sarah. No talking. We gotta go. But I am gonna look in here first. Ooh! Oh god, I wanna steal everything. I can't, I can't. I have to leave before I wanna grab everything. Let's go. Come on, Sarah. Sarah! Let's go. It's time for you to join me on my chaotic adventures. We are in Mast, right? So maybe we can find stuff. Let, let me look at my map. Oh my god, there's so much stuff around here. Okay, we're at the lodge. There's a medical, clother, CJ's, arsenal, mercury tower, penthouse, unknown, chunks, dawn's roost. The well. Oh, they want us to investigate the well. That's right. Got this stuff. Unknown, unknown. Whetstone, enhanced, outland, transit station, mast, realty. <gasps> Can we go to the realty place? I really want to get it. Oh, I'm going way too far out. I want to get a house. <laughs> if I steal enough stuff. I mean, uh, find stuff. I'm sure I should be able to. All right, come on, let's go. Let's go exploring. I want to see what there is on New Atlantis before we actually do stuff. You see that site is out in front of Mast. Staring at trees sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? What do you know? I'll go talk to a scientist later. Got a clothing store. I might take a peek inside, why not? Oh my god, what is this stuff? Can I just take this? Okay, that would- okay, it, it does show me if I'm stealing. Yes, you may. I want to buy. You won't find a larger array of options in all the settled systems, I guarantee you. Let's see what you got. Hey, my guess. I want some cool clothes. Let's see, we got this, a uh, suit, sleek suit, fashionable suit, Poncho, slack suit. Oh my god, that's kind of hot. What? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with this one. Oh my god. No, just one. Alright, I've got what I wanted. I'll see you again, I'm sure. Don't sound so sure of yourself. I say as I put on my new fancy outfit. There we go. How do I look? Beautiful? She's not looking at me. I think I look ugly. CJ's. Open 49 hours? Like, in a week? Can get food here. Oh, it's literally just chunks. Please choose your chunks. Got cosmic red apple, baked potato, Mongolian beef, pumpkin pie, red cheesecake. Please choose your chunks. Shut up. Poached egg, chocolate, grilled chicken, cheesesteak. Alright, I'm leaving because you annoyed me. <laughs> oh, this is the residential district. Oh, can we just walk around? Cool. We're about to level up without even, like, doing anything. Yeah, let's explore. Okay, this is the residential district. Let's go back to the commercial district. I want one of their Huh? Me? Trackers? Who's the trackers? Hang on, I'm leveling up. Okay, what do we want? We don't have anything in physical. Um, what else can we get? Tech? Well, maybe we should do tech. Can utilize ship thrusters. Can attempt to hack advanced locks. And two auto attempts can be banked. That might be good. Targeting functionality. 
Let's get the, uh, security. There we go. Oh, and I do have one more skill point. Let's see. Let's have something in... Scavenging. There's a chance you'll find extra credits when searching containers. Theft. Unlike the- Oh! We could pickpocket? Oh! I might want to do that. Buy for 5% less and sell for 10% more. Ooh. I want to pickpocket. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, what's up? Who are you? I'm glad I finally caught up with you. Yeah, I've been running around. I'm from the Tracker's Alliance. We have a proposal for you. Mm. <laughs> Be honest, this isn't about my outstanding bounty. <laughs> Definitely not. They wouldn't send me after you for that, and if they did, you'd already be bagged and tagged. I'd like to see you try. A proposal? Me? But I don't even know you! What? Oh, right. You're trying to make a joke. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. You're not selling your yes, pitch. Proposal. No, not that kind of proposal. I don't want to listen then. The Tracker's Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. Who are the trackers, though? Agent number one. Oh. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. Hmm. I'll consider it, and if I show up, you'll have your answer. <laughs> I suppose we will. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Aquila City. Speak to Agent Number One. Okay, Agent Number One. Wait, question. Never mind. I'll, I'll find answers to my questions elsewhere. Come on, Sarah. Traffic is nice. The stairs keep climbing. Thanks for choosing Terra. What can I get you? Nothing. <laughs> I just wanted to jump on the counter, but I failed, so I'm gonna leave now because I'm embarrassed. Can't go away. You just no. But David's my friend. He writes me. I hate to break it to you, but his PA is the one who signs all those cards and headshots. Mr. Oh. Burns, um... Wee! <laughs> Ow. Jet packs for a reason, you know. Oh, right, I have a jetpack. I forgot. Okay, and then we've got a distribution center. Is this a place I need to mark on my map? Oh, colonists. Get it back by annoying us. Viewport? Maybe we should talk to them. They were gonna give our son to a different family. We made it back just in time. Oh! He's quite something, our Bobby, isn't he? Your oh, your parents did come back! I wasn't expecting that, honestly. I thought they were dead. Oh, is this the realty place? Oh, I think it is. Just tell me how many zeros I must have. Hello. Never a better time than right now to settle down and make New Atlantis home. Uh, if you're a citizen, of course. Oh. And Welcome to Feeling Realty. I'm Zora, and I'm here to help with whatever you may need. Not what brings you in today? Looking to settle down, or move up in the world, or just window shopping? I don't think I'm a citizen of New Atlantis, so... Uh, I just wandered in. That's fine. It happens all the time. I never mind an opportunity to chat with someone new. I'm here if you have any more questions, or if you'd like to look at properties. I want to look. I'd love to see what you have for sale. Okay. Let me just pull up your data. Are you not going to let me look? Oh. I I'm sorry, but... You're not a United Colony citizen. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid property ownership here in New Atlantis isn't available to you. What? If, if you take the exciting step of becoming a citizen, we'll be here for you. I don't know if I wanna. You have any properties outside New Atlantis? Oh, don't I wish. Between UC regulations and demand here in the city, I haven't had a chance to branch out yet. But you best believe I'm keeping an eye on the situation. And actively lobbying for a little more leeway. Oh god, they're a lobbyist. Get out of here! Not by any time. Run! I never will! This space is a memorial to those lost during the colony war. Your consideration is requested. 
Sarah! Ah. Uh, what am I gonna do with her? I'm sorry. She's always like this. Oh, this is the well. Huh. Should we go down? Damn, I look good. We won't yet. We're still exploring. I want to see what the viewport is all about. And we should talk to that scientist by the tree. I want to gather a bunch of quests so we have a bunch to do next time, because this is going to be a very talky episode as we explore. <laughs> I know we do, but I just left you. She didn't get in the car fast enough. That's on her. There's the viewport. Hello, hello. I heard you need help. Yes, what? I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you. Hello. Hey there. Always nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? Nah, I'm not new. I think it's very obvious I'm very new. I'm wearing fancy clothes, but I'm also still covered in dirt. I didn't think it was that obvious. Look at my new clothes. Don't I look- I look like I'm from here, right? I definitely didn't just run out of the real tea in tears. <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Gotcha. <laughs> Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. I'm actually here on business. You, my new friend. Friend? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Uh Business seems to be booming for you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me? Is there anyone else around? I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous, galaxy-wide. It's pretty like we just got here, and we were a little bit rude, and she's like, I can trust them with this. Well, I have to give this a try. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. Aww. I made a deal with Holler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Huh. It turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. I've murdered some of those guys. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I can kill them. Can't you just order some more of whatever you need? <laughs> yes. What with all these extra credits cluttering up the place, why didn't I think of that? Yo, calm down. Sorry. Snark isn't helpful. Exactly. This stuff was pricey to get a hold of the first time. Could have started with that. Don't make me use my lasers. I'm gonna say you should talk to security, but I believe they already talked to security, because that's what we heard. I submitted all the paperwork. Believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. Do you want me to steal it? Really? I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. You just need the stuff need to try to it out. Hands on that cargo. I can do it. What does that have an ominous tone to it? I mean, doing something about this won't exactly be on the straight and narrow, will it? I've never been straight or narrow. <laughs> Sounds like you need a helping hand. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else, <gasps> I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis. Oh, of course not. United Colonies. Of course not. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. Totally I normal. Think, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way. Well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. That's the only way I operate. You, uh, with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. Sarah? The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. Sarah, butt out. I want to try this drink. I'll do anything. <laughs> I'm here for you. I'll do whatever I can. God, you have no Sarah. idea what this is. 
I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. Yeah. <laughs> no hostages? Well, there goes my idea. Yeah, this is hardly a life or death situation. Some lights breaking and entering at worst. Just a little B&E. Alright. Uh, also, have you heard in, in any interesting w news lately? You know, I had a guy in here last week ranting that General Shao ought to send the Marines down into the well. I'm usually all for letting folks speak their mind. Most times it can't be helped after a few drinks. But that was just too much. The well again? Anybody stuck living in the well, it almost certainly isn't by choice. And things down there aren't that bad. The well? Anything else? I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. Oh. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. Mm -mm. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House Varun, I mean. Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. I feel like I'm missing something, but okay. Catch you later. Later, alligator. Sarah? Sarah, where's Sarah? Listen. You and I need to have a discussion. You know who you're working with. You heard me talking to the tracker. I have a bounty on my head. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I have a bounty on my head. You know who you're working with. We might get security on our backs, but we I might not, okay? You just gotta be okay with this. You gotta be okay with this. This is what you signed up for. You said I can't travel with anyone else until we found an artifact, so you know what that means? That means you're gonna have to deal with me, okay? Don't back up. You know what you signed up for. Hello. Never a dull day in the big city. I know. You just saw me threatening my friend. Right, friend? Let's go. All right, and just to annoy Sarah, let's go talk to the person at the tree. Person by the tree, and then there's the constellation mission board. We could do that. L no, we'll do that too. I want to annoy Sarah as much as possible. Actually, we'll do that later. The scientist is the only one that's, like, close by. And by close by, I mean across the town. Are you the scientist? Gorgeous weather today, huh? Whoa! Huh? Oh. It's amazing to think that this tree predates New Atlantis. Can you imagine all the changes it's seen? I want to climb it. Eh! Oh, I don't think I can get any higher. No, wait, I can. Eh. Eh. Yes. Oh my goodness, I'm so tall. How much higher can I go? Eh, eh. Okay, wait. Maybe go up this way. Huh. Eh. Huh. Sarah's like, God, why did I have to agree to follow this person around? They climbed the goddamn tree. I am so tall. That is a beautiful view. Look at that lake. Alright, where is this person? I can jump the trees until I get to them. Okay, over there? No, it says they're like... It says they're, like, right under me. Maybe it was that person. Oh! <laughs> gotta be careful. I'm up in the tree. Oh, are you- Oh! Ah. Yep. Well, you didn't climb with me, so... Are we really friends? Are you the scientist? You look like a scientist. I'm sorry. I really can't afford to be distracted. It is a scientist. the bottom of this. What is it? You sound concerned. You seem to be staring at a tree. I am not staring. I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. Xenobiology? I work for the scientific division of MAST. Oh. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some worrying signs. What Are does you that familiar mean? with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Mm. I've passed by this oh. particular tree many times, and honestly, I never gave it a second thought. 
Does it hold some sort of special significance? Finally, somebody understands. Unless, wait. You're not mocking me, right? People. She might be. She's a jerk Look, like that. I have a lot of work to do here. She doesn't want if me to climb trees. Gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. Do you need me to climb trees? I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? Can you look at me? I'm yes. Talk, talk to me. I'd love to help. Well, that's thank you. That's unexpected. What does that mean? There's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. Oh. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. If you would bring them to me, that would save time. I see. Well, I'll do it, but I'm not going to do it right now, so it probably won't save any time. Anyway, I'm going to go now. <laughs> Maybe we can fast travel and grab them later. But for now, let's go talk to this person. I might actually be going towards one of the sensors. And you know, it's dark. Maybe that person isn't out and about right now. Oh, it is one of the sensors. Alright, biosensor. Where's another one? Meow. <laughs> biosensor. Is there another one around here? Oh, over there. Time to go swimming! Whee! Whee! Oh, this is way faster than swimming. There we go. Alright, there's a biosensor around here somewhere. Sarah caught up with us. <laughs> She's like, <sighs> Can you please stop being a maniac for one second? Please slow down. Whee! <laughs> Never. <laughs> Who are you? Are you the contact? Hey. Oh. Are you looking for eggs too? Uh, I've eggs? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Uh... I'm looking f The egg you found wasn't beeping, was it? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Man, why'd you sell it? No! Dang it. Everything's gotta be a process. The fangirl is still there. Whee! Where are they? Huh. Hello. Bulk items may require multiple levels of approval and can take up to several weeks for an official response. We apologize for any delay. That's not what I'm here for. Welcome to UC Distribution. There we go. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. Oh. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. I'm going to complain also, about the delay. if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Sir? Uh, you bought an egg from a kid recently. I need it. Oh, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Can you please go away? We're yeah, having a conversation. It? Uh, it's sensitive scientific equipment. Very important. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it. Plus, a little extra. Let's call it a convenience fee, shall we? How about we don't? Can't you just give it in? Fine, I have plenty of money. Pleasure doing business with you. I don't like you. Biosensor! Egg! Eh. There we go, deliver the sensors. Where do we go for that? Oh yeah, the tree. 
See, this is our first real quest, Sarah. Isn't it fun? Huh. I'm here. I appreciate your assistance, but I still need all of those sensors. I've got them. Any luck tracking down those sensors? Yes. So you do. Wonderful. I do. I'll just take these and we'll see what they have to tell us. I really want scrambled eggs now. The data. A moment. Okay. And just another moment. Another moment. It is working, isn't it? Maybe? I don't know. Ah, uh, there it is. What a relief. Whew. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh, my. What's the matter? You okay? What's going on? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I wouldn't count that as good news. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. <laughs> the phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. It's deserved. That doesn't sound like good news. That's what I said. Well, from a certain point of view. In an admittedly somewhat selfish manner. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. Oh. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. Huh. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, the consequences for the city could be uh, disastrous. That's not good. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. Oh, more than adequate. That makes up everything that I lost. Nice. All right, wait. Checking on you later. Can I check in on you now? Thank you for your help retrieving. Let's hope that mass. The data from the biosensors. Okay, now we'll have to wait. Oh, the time is up. Oh, and we can speak with him again. Hello, what's up? Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I've been right behind you this whole I night. I didn't expect it to run into you again. I was sitting right behind you. Uh, looks like you're still hard at work. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Good one. Well, concern that things are going to get worse. Not a good one. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Hmm. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. That's not good. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time, while I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, None of them are good. Yeah, probably not. You must have some kind of plan. We don't want to cut this tree down. It's beautiful. If we can fix the ringing, maybe we can let it stay up. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. What do you need me to do? There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> Per, per, personnel issues, if you understand me. Stop with your jokes. Coworker and jilted lover. What? No. Oh. That is ridiculous. I am a professional. A One boring of professional. In Mast, really, Ohadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He but I don't see eye to eye. Oh. And so far, he's refused to turn it over to me. I can kill him. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? I can ask and I can kill. I get it. You want me to squeeze and make him squirm. I suggested nothing of the sort. Yes, you did. Although, now that I think about it, I confess, I wouldn't mind seeing that. All right, I'll murder him. Anyway, no. What? I just need his data. Aww. I am sure that can be acquired without force or the threat of it. 90% sure. 
I'm betting on the that 10%. Last time I saw him, he was being assigned to sample collection out near the agricultural areas. I'm sure you'll find him there. Possibly. Where where would that be? Oh, over there. And where's your guy, Sarah? Oh yeah, I think we can only have one active quest at a time, so that's probably why we uh can't do that. We'll worry about that in a second, Sarah. I have a quest. This tree is more important than exploration. Truth be told, this has been the first time I've been not in space in a long time, so I'm just exploring. I definitely wasn't out in space for any particular reason. Definitely not because I'm running from my past or anything. Mind your step. Important research happening here. I'm here to make that research end. Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. No. I think it's your big fucking ego that's blocking things. Kelton Fresh asked me to get some data from you. <laughs> what? You've got to be kidding me. Is he seriously that desperate? No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Why are you so against helping him? Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in mass. I'm not going to forgive that, ever. Kelton says this isn't about him. Lives could be at stake. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. No, I'm involved. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? No. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Don't say that when I'm right okay. here. You know what? I'll hand over the data. Hmm. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in mass. Ugh. Sounds shady. Well, then I guess we don't have anything else to discuss. And Kelton can just forget about getting his hands on the data. See you around. Turn around. How do I know when I'm hidden? What the heck? What the, what? You're not even holding anything! Sarah! Steal. <laughs> I'm not doing anything for you! I'm just excited we finally got to rob someone. I'm so glad I picked the pickpocket trait. That really came in handy. Totally illegal means I got you your data. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. Yeah, you might get in trouble for having data. You want you don't want to know what I had to do to get this. You're absolutely right. I don't want to know. Yep. I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later. Particularly in a legal setting. Very smart. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double cross me. I didn't give him a chance. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. Fingers crossed. I'm just doing my part. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance. Thank you for letting me rob someone. <laughs> See, Sarah? This is what I was talking about. That's what this is, what we did right there. The thrill of the game. The thrill of thievery, of fighting and violence, and climbing trees, and swimming. This is what we're really about. This is what I'm really about. And as long as you're stuck with me, it's what you're about too. Don't be scared. I'm opening a whole new world up for you. Let's go. Oh no, it's this one. Talk to Sarah's contacts. Where is the contact? Over here. I know how to get there faster. Hey, Sarah's late, but I'm here. Sarah, uh, 
another space explorer. Yeah. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? No. Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Never. I'm a lone ranger. I go wherever I want to go. I belong to no one. Maybe later. I'd rather chart the stars than fight wars. Whoa. Where have I heard that line before? No, oh, I say the same thing every time John tries to get me to re-enlist. Re-enlist? <laughs> I surrender. Can't blame me for trying, right? All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. Gotcha. The Sol system. Which admiral did he upset to get that posting? That's our system. He's Martian, born and raised. Oh. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornaments he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. We know who to kill. Uh, wait, what's wrong with the soul system? You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. No one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Oof. Who is this Moera? Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. Damn. A scientific discovery being used as an ornament? The indignity. I shall kill him. Hey, vanguards risk their lives every day to keep people safe. So what if he doesn't understand whatever this fancy thing of yours is? He won't understand anything much Easy longer. There, John. We all have our saw points. Everyone agrees we need to talk to your vanguard about what he found. Let's leave it at that. All right, I'll let it slide. No good for the recruiting office to be seen arguing with the civs anyway. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. Sidonia? You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Oh? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Don't drink and fly a spaceship. Did Moira say where he found this ornament? You'll have to ask him. The Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Ah. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. So it's just trading hands. Anything you can tell me about Sidonia? Yeah. Bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. That's depressing. A bar in a spaceport sounds like home. It's where I've hidden from many a bounty hunter. It's definitely a lifestyle. Burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. Yeah. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. Never. You just come talk to me when you're ready. You see, is a good friend to have. I have no friends. Ignore her. She's not a part of this. All right. So we need to go to Sidonia. Speak to Commander Tuala about joining the Vanguard. I'm probably not going to do that. Welcome hey, to Mass. are you going to? If you have an appointment, you may proceed inside. I have an appointment with your coffee. Yoink. All right, let's go back to our ship. I think we should head that way. Wee! Mm. Ow! Oh, that jump looked painful. I'm not doing that. Then I'm gonna get on the ship without you. I wonder if I'm <laughs> Spaceport, here I come. Sarah is just regretting every day. <laughs> She's ha dealt with me for two days, and she regrets it already. <laughs> Most of the settled systems and all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on a nap. Were you reading in there? Sometimes reading while you're driving can make you sick. That's why only why I only read when I'm piloting my ship. It's very oh, safe. I always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Um, limp spaghetti noodles twirled around on your fork. I know art. Do you think the spaceport is, uh... Having a good one? I was before you spoke to me. <laughs> I'm just so aggressive. I don't like being on land! I should be out in space! Security scammers, chemical sniffers. Hmm. United Colonies sure is not taking I guess not. A diplomatic visa? You've got to be kidding me. Invo 
boys haven't needed diplomatic visas since the colony war. The law's the law, sir. And that one's still on the books. New Atlantis Security Charter 2308 Addendum, Article 2, Section 8. Huh. Ludicrous. You made all that up. There is no such addendum. The war ended almost 20 years ago. I am Representative Evans Chisholm of the Free Star Collective. I've been coming here for months trying to ensure continued peace. I don't make up the laws, Representative. Yikes. I just enforce them. You have a good day now. Someplace else. Ooh. Have a good one. Everything okay? What? Can't you see I'm, I'm dealing with something? I can help. What was that all about? The guards seem to have issues with you. Did you not hear? They won't let me enter the city. Me, a political envoy who comes here constantly trying to help prevent another war. And this is the thanks I get? They won't let me enter without a diplomatic visa? Ridiculous. Can I help? Oh, really? <laughs> and here I am biting your head off. Aw. Apologies. Thank you. I'm just, well, rather flustered. Look, if you have time, could you please go to the Free Star Collective Embassy and speak to a diplomat? They'll know what to do. Where can I find one of those? My good deed of the day. Thank you. I'll wait here until the embassy sends the cavalry. Oh. Not like I have much choice. We're gonna come back with some buddies, but I don't know where to find an embassy. I guess it doesn't really matter either way, because we gotta go into space. We'll see it eventually. Is this reset? Need the vodka? It is! Let me go get my Grendels. Do you, Captain? Captain? Well, well. I'm just grabbing these. I have stuff. I have some. Something you might be interested in. Oh? Like what? Here. I have something for you. I thought you didn't like me. A gift for me you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Well, I appreciate the effort. I'm just pleased I get to utilize some of my old field collecting skills. It's been a while. What do you mean, field collecting? Check we haven't. Check with me from time to time after you return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Sarah, we haven't left New Atlantis. Planetary jaunts? We've just been walking around the city. Well, I've been running around. You've been desperately trying to keep up with me. Alright, time to sell our weapons. Sell the Grendels. I've got so much money. Let's see. Got this, 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 this. There we go. What else have we got? We got notes. I kind of want to hold on to these. See how many books we can get. Uh, the cutter is always staying with us. That can stay. The Grendel can stay. You can definitely stay. We'll hold on to the rest of this stuff. We are no longer over encumbered. And now it's time to head into space. Let's see where we can go. I think we should go try and track down that guy first. All right, you get settled. I'm gonna fly us out of here. In my very cool outfit. I look like I should be running a bar, not flying a ship. Take off. the way out. We need to go to the soul system. We're gonna set a course. Can we jump? Yeah, I think we can jump. Alright, let's power up that grab drive. We're going to lower some stuff in the shield. And off we go!
go. Oh my god. So bright. You're entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Uh no contraband on the ship. Whew. Clear to land. Nice. Is this where I want to land? Oh yeah, it is. We want to go to Sidonia. It is really dusty here. Whew. Do you think it's safe to be without our suit out there? Or... I don't know. How you doing? You look very professional. I'm gonna put on my suit just to be safe. Oh, let me let me see. Is there oxygen? Temperature, atmosphere, thin CO2. I'm going to assume that I can walk around. And if I'm incorrect, we'll just put on our suit. Yep. <laughs> Suit is on. Oh, it's a sandstorm. That's not good. Environmental damage reduces your maximum health. Well, don't. That's rude. Ugh. All right. Let's get out of the sandstorm while we can. Is this where we need to go? Building Sidonia completely underground was a clever way of keeping the city shielded from the harsh Martian landscape. Oh, it's an underground city. Cool. Let me in. It's scary out here. Yay! We made it! Hello, everybody! Oh my god, everyone's so loud here. Jesus! Guys, I'm just here for- to, to hang out. Let me take off my suit. There we go. Alright. Let's talk- I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. <sighs> it's depressing. Yeah, but we gotta be here for a little bit. Hopefully we can find our guy. What the heck is that? We're definitely gonna have to explore this place later. Do you see exchange is a great place to buy your weapons? Where is this place? Where is the, the people? Trevor? Who's Trevor? What the heck was that? <laughs> Oh wait, I see a staircase over here. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, how do I get up there? Did you know Deimos makes the majority of the ships for the UC Navy? If you ask me, that's a hell of a lucrative contract. What the heck? What does that mean? Detonation? Oh! Well, this place is sure fun. Ah, over here. Oh, it's a bar. Hello, everybody. I jump really high. Let me sit down and enjoy this beer teeny that's not mine. Then leave! I'm busy. 
I'm gonna sit down in my fancy suit. Sarah is all the way over there. I don't know what she's doing. Talk to me. Can't say I'm a fan of excitement and drama around here. Mm, I'm looking for a vanguard named Moira. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Well, that's depressing. Space isn't kind to the lost. He could be trouble, in trouble or worse. Sounds about right. Yeah. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. Sarah, what's happening it's to you? <laughs> a lot of credits, okay? Did you see that I jumping in front of her face? I'm because he's a regular, but but I'm not all that money. Got problems. What do you say? Um. Oh, your companion can speak on your behalf. What they say will be written next to their name. Hmm. He could need help. You shouldn't put a price on that. Let's try this first. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yes. To persuade a person, you need to make a successful choice. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the cha choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Ooh. Let's see. I want you to imagine him out there and here alone, and here you are holding out for cash. I want him found. I do. All right, I'll give up. <laughs> Just trying to earn a living here. Last time I was here, my wearer kept yelling about the lady of love. Huh? Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Phoenix, that's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? Oh, fine. We'll make do. Maybe he crashed or something. Oh! Is that what was jumping in front of Sarah? It was like it made you invisible for the cutscene, but I could still kind of see where you were. That's interesting. Also, do you have any rumors? Get a lot of new faces passing through here. Any local rumors? Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any Randall that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. Aww. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. I could be your customer. You're right, I meant no offense. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. I guilt tripped you and now I have your respect. But I'm probably not gonna get any rumors from him. In fact, it seems like we have a new target. We have to go to Venus. Alright, so it looks like next time we're going to be heading to Venus. We found out a lot today. We met Constellation, we learned about the artifacts, we explored New Atlantis, we drove Sarah crazy, and now we're going to be heading to Venus. Oh, and we also got to go to Mars and guilt trip someone. That was cool, too. I'm really excited. Hopefully we'll be able to go back to New Atlantis soon and do those quests there, because I still do want to finish up those quests that we have there. But this is going to be exciting. We're going to head out into space and maybe we'll get in some more fights. This was a slower episode. We were kind of exploring and learning about things. But now that we have all of our information, we can really start getting stuff done and gathering quests. But we'll focus on all of that next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourself. Never make deals with smug scientists when you can just pickpocket them. And have a good day.